Can you decrease knockouts by adjusting your jaw? Let us define a knockout for this statement. Is adjusting your jaw going to stop a knockout from this type of blow? No. But if you're suffering from coordination and timing issues that are preventing you from recovering from blows that keep toppling you over, then yes. Now, throughout your career, did you worry at all about head trauma? No. Did you worry about the consequences Not of it? Until after. You know, but my last fight, I do remember um, my jaw was out a little bit. I had like somebody just adjust my jaw because I kept getting dropped in the sparring for my last fight. And I was just like, oh, this sucks. So you got your jaw adjusted? Yeah, it was like, yeah, I don't know. It, there was a chiropractor on hand, and I don't know how legit it was or <coughs> wasn't legit. He seems like a really nice guy. He was an orthotherapist, and he said, your jaw's offline. And then he, like, did some kind of thing, and I stopped getting dropped, which was nice. But I don't... That doesn't really jive. It doesn't. So I don't know how much of that was psychosomatic. Probably and a whole me, bunch. This is a young man with Tourette's syndrome. We are going to make the connection between coordination, timing, and the jaw joint. Uh, it's coming to our office. And as, you, as you can see that he's a Tourette's patient and we're going to begin his treatment today with the with fitting him with a lower mouthpiece to stop all these uncontrollable motions that he has and we're going to videotape these motions for a minute or two just so the viewing audience can uh, appreciate what he has to go through. Justin is a 17 year old young man who uh, began suffering from these things at the age of eight years of age and it's about time that he got rid of them and this is what we're going to do for him today. Additional acrylic here, not being the thickness of those three additional tongue blades. This young man has finally been fitted with the proper height for his dental device. It's a video demonstrating how Tourette's and movement disorders can be affected by the jaw joint. The insertion of the dental device decreases his tics. On the surface, this may seem strange. How does a dental device inserted in the jaw stop movement disorders? Let us discuss anatomy and proprioception, evolution's design for movement and feedback. When muscles and joints move, the receptors within them, called proprioceptors, are stimulated and send signals into the spinal cord, then up into the brain. These are the sensory inputs. Inputs are sent to the cerebellum, which then send signals into the cortex to generate a motor program. The motor program sends output signals to control the coordination and timing of muscles. Remember Dr. Shireen talking about coordination and timing? I want to bring your attention to the colors. Green boxes or arrows are normal. Red boxes or arrows are abnormal. Our goal is to turn red to green. Let's rearrange this diagram. Move the muscles over here and replace the muscles with the child. Let's replace the skeleton with the jaw joint. The jaw joint is causing abnormal sensory inputs into the cerebellum, causing the generation of an abnormal motor program, negatively affecting the coordination and timing of the child's muscles. The insertion of the dental device modifies the sensory inputs from the joint receptors in the jaw to the cerebellum, correcting the motor program, normalizing the coordination and timing of the muscles. This is how proprioceptive-based treatment modalities work. This is how chiropractic works. Here's another patient with Tourette's syndrome. His mother has brought him to the dentist to be fitted with a dental appliance. Watch what happens when it's inserted into the jaw. <laughs> and um, shall we try putting in the device so you can see the difference? So you want to show them what the device looks like? It's kind of a funny looking little thing. It has little, I guess the little pins to hold the, I guess to hold it in place. And it's just a little appliance that goes yeah. in and it adds space. We see that the child's coordination and timing outputs reset to normal. Feels good. And that's it. So you got your jaw adjusted? Yeah, it was like, yeah, I don't know. It don't. That doesn't really jive. This is the tail of the tape of this child and their imaginary clone. One competitor has abnormal coordination and timing outputs, while his imaginary competing clone has normal coordination and timing outputs. This is something that is not measured on the tail of the tape. Who do you think will win a boxing or MMA match between them? Adjusting the jaw properly can correct coordination and timing abnormalities. Adjusting the jaw improperly, or any joint for that matter, can increase coordination and timing dysfunction. Understand any type of trauma, regardless if it be a car accident, a fall off a bike, or a kick to the head, does to the coordination and timing of any individual. See in your mind's eye, trauma reverberate through the nervous system. 
Injured muscles and joints negatively affect brain function and the motor program. An athlete receiving this type of trauma may look normal to the naked eye at the end of the event. They may not display issues that are obvious like the Tourette's patient we saw previously. However, strength, balance, muscle coordination, and timing testing will show some type of dysfunction.